Jeffrey Dunlock, the CEO of Double Line Capital. Jeffrey Dunlock, the CEO of Double Line Capital. Jeffrey Dunlock, the CEO of Double Line Capital. When it comes to the economic outlook going forward here from July 1st, by the way, welcome to the second half of 2020. I don't think there's a good appreciation for how much economic fear there is. I think it's very unlikely that we'll get back to our peak economic growth, even in 2021. I think that whatever the consensus is on the so-called shape of the recovery, I'm taking the under. Without the Super 6, there is no earnings growth in the United States stock market. There isn't any for the past five years. If you take them out, it's nothing. And there's no earnings growth at all in small caps. So this is all being driven by, by price, not by earnings. And of course, earnings have taken a humongous hit. And earnings in the stock market are now about the same as they were in 2016, when the stock market was like a third lower than it is today. So the fundamentals are completely out of sync with what's how the market's been manipulated, I think. The quantitative easing that the Fed has done, it was more in just three or four weeks than that entire program that was laid out over a multi-year framework. And they went all the way into buying corporate bonds, which is not allowed under the Federal Reserve Act of 1913. But what they're doing is really a, a bridge further than they've ever gone before, where they're not even following their own charter. The fiscal deficit has just exploded higher. I mean, we're up, we're up at over three and a half trillion already. So the Fed has uh, propped up the economy. But we have a lot more debt coming. We're still hearing about multi-trillion dollar rescue packages, yield curve control. It's just a code word for suppressing interest rates. You can't go negative interest rates in the United States without a total catastrophe, in my view. The lowest tier of investment grade, which is triple B, you know, it's like a $12 trillion market now. There's been so much issuance of corporate bonds. When you spray money all over the place, the price of corporate bonds today isn't really real. There's no price discovery mechanism. The price of corporate bonds today isn't really real. There's no price discovery mechanism. 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 The states are really in trouble. The tax revenue from the states has completely collapsed. And uh, it's unlikely to improve. And so a lot of these states are going to be looking for more government bailouts. So there's a long queue of entities that want or need government bailouts. But I think there's risk that the dollar starts to reverse into a significant downtrend. Civil unrest, that's already here. And I, I think that you were going to see an escalation in these problems as the voices of the unheard remain unheard. That somehow this economic arrangement is not working for them. I think that if the election were in 2021 and not 2020, I really think there'd be a third party. And one thing to watch on that is the labor force participation rate. That 52% of the labor force was engaged. If that number goes any meaningful amount below 50, you've got a winning third party. It's called the unlocked out party. It's called the unlocked out party. It's called the unlocked out party. When you have two ancient guys having to debate on who's more senile. The virus is a negative side of the distribution and he's pretending that it isn't on the negative side. There are several more shoes, if not Amelda Marcos' closet full of shoes to fall on this economic and market situation.
you have two ancient guys having to debate on who's more senile. And since earnings aren't going up at all, really, it's the taxes had a lot to do with levitating the stock market. If you reverse that, that's going to be a really big problem. 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 It's called the I'm locked out part. Called the I'm locked out part. Called the I'm locked out part. There are several more shoes to fall on this. It's 